think one of the things I bring to In Spirit of Arts is empathy, because actually I have chronic illness and disability myself, so I kind of really understand what some of our clients are going through. In Spirit of Arts' mission is to revolutionise the care culture. I believe that In Spirit of Arts is growing because there's an absolute need for the emotional development work that we do through using creativity and embodied practice. Seeing people achieve more than they thought they could is brilliant and I think both our staff and our clients do that. My favourite thing would be the challenge that every day brings, the fact that every day is completely different and you know it can be difficult, it can be hard work but it is absolutely worth it and I go home at the end of every day feeling that I've been able to meet my clients needs in the best way I possibly can. I think in some ways I think they helped me to actually learn about myself, you know, express my uh, emotions and that, not, be, not, not to be afraid of talking about problems, you know. I hope to be able to empower individuals and help them to make progress towards goals and outcomes that they set for themselves. The cloud actually represents depression and that. Like you, sometimes you do get people um, who, who come into, come into our, you know, I'm not about like negative people who come into our lives, you know. Because she was like talking about the subject and I had the idea, amazing idea, that it's a good idea to just draw it out as a picture and that. And did you find that helpful? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. So we're trying to be as inclusive as possible and work with and reach as many people as we can. Honestly, my favourite part is the people. One of the biggest impacts on how much you enjoy your job is the people you work with. My colleagues, because they're amazing, like I couldn't ask for better colleagues. And then the clients, just seeing the clients every day and seeing how they progress and grow is so amazing. From the first day they came in, having a chat with them then, to, I don't know, a year later and they're still our client, having a chat with them and seeing the difference in the way they speak to you and how comfortable they are in their body language, it's such a nice feeling. often asked who we work with, the answer is people. If we think that a person will benefit from our wellbeing sessions or our therapy sessions, we'll meet with them, assess them and really find out their need. We provide group and one-to-one -one sessions, we provide in-house work here or we can come to you. If you'd like to find out more about our services and how Inspirative Arts might be able to support you, then do feel free to give us a call or go to our website where we have many of our contact details available. Thank you.